Hi, I'm Doug Robertson. I'm Chief of Gastroenterology at the White River Junction VA and Professor of Medicine at Dartmouth. I recently turned 50 and like most 50 year olds, it's time for me to think about colorectal cancer screening. But how should I be screened? It's an important question, but it's one that I've thought about a lot. In fact, a colleague of mine, Jason Dominance and I, are running a large VA cooperative studies trial designed to answer just this question. We've asked nearly 50,000 veterans across the United States to participate in a study comparing the two most commonly used screening tests in the United States, namely colonoscopy and a stool test called the fecal immunochemical test, which looks for evidence of blood in the stool. These 50,000 veterans have agreed to be randomized to one of two approaches, essentially allowing a flip of a coin to determine which screening test they are going to receive. It's a process called randomization. A randomized trial is the best way for us to learn what works in medicine. We're indebted to these veterans, not only for their military service, but also for their contribution to science. So what are we doing here today? Since it's my turn to get colorectal cancer screening, I thought it would be most appropriate if my test was also determined by a flip of a coin. I'm at average risk for colon colorectal cancer, and so in that way, I am just like the tens of thousands of veterans who agreed to be in the randomized control trial. I just wanted to honor their willingness to be randomized by doing the same. It's just one small way to say thank you for their participation. I have asked my close friend and colleague, uh, Dr. Gil Welsh, to do the honors and flip the coin. Gil was instrumental in uh, being part of the impetus for this trial comparing colonoscopy and FIT. So, without further ado. Happy to do it. We'll say heads is uh, colonoscopy, tails is home fit testing. Here we go. And you're going to get home fit testing. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get up with my primary care doctor to get that arranged. That's great.